so this is Engino, which is uh, a new sort of construction uh, material. And uh, it's actually very different from anything I've used before. It's really, really well engineered. So you can actually, you can push them together. You can clip them together. Um, but it, the way it fixes means that you actually, you don't need a lot of joints. You can actually join it onto each other. And I'm going to make the greenhouse. This is the base, which is already started. And actually, it's pretty strong already. I'm, I'm very impressed so far. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to put it together. It is a little bit confusing. It's very small. A lot of counting. And just to be kind, and Gino turned their pitch around all the time, which caught us out a few times to start with. Um, it's not so bad on this page, but uh, yeah, sometimes it's it's one way, it's the next way, it's the next way. You have to keep tabs on which way around your model is. One of the things that makes Engino a bit special is, uh, this is part of the model obviously, it's built in, uh, but you can turn it and you've got a completely different side on the other side, so you've just kind of got one for aesthetics and one not, but also they accept different pieces. So it's actually quite clever. I mean, clearly you've got a blank side as well. If this is another very clever piece of Engino. Uh, two pieces which slot together and then twist the lock at uh, whichever height you want. That is excellent. All your glass, glass it's plastic really, arrives in that big envelope. And it's all really neatly looked after. Uh, you can see it's got holes. Uh, and that's how it fixes on using these uh, little little fixings here. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, another feature of Engino and the way it fastens together is that you can fasten two pieces using another piece. So you can have one on either side, which is actually really handy for making bigger models like this greenhouse, for example. This is an opening window and it's got like a technical bit going on. So there's all cogs going on now. Here is the workings for our opening window, number one. And uh, feet of engineering it is. Works very well. Uh, obviously it's powered by cogs. Uh, that, this is where the instructions are a little bit vague at times. That's the only mention of that cog there. So you have to spot it um, rather than sort of being told that you're going to need it. But here, the glass is on. And it looks really good, actually. And uh, I am incredibly impressed with this. That is so sweet. It's got to stop to stop you uh, overwinding inwards and crushing your plants, which is probably very handy for children. Within Gino is this, which is um, a tool for taking apart two small pieces that are tightly together. Very clever because that is what's frustrating and children end up chewing the pieces apart with their teeth uh, much, much safer. Our greenhouse is coming together now and uh, the side pieces, the glass, just clip on. It's getting harder and harder though as uh, you reach the point where uh, you, have, you can't actually put your hands anywhere and you discover that you've put things together sideways. And so it won't clip on, but never mind, a little technical error there. And here is the complete greenhouse, completely encased in glass, uh, plastic glass. That's, that's really good actually, it works so well. Uh, some of the sides are a little tiny bit sick, but most of them are really good. I mean, look at that. That's nice and tight, and there's quite a lot of space inside, so you can fit two of these little trays and the little pots. They're a fair size. These are proper plants. This is not pretending. We've got lots of interesting spare pieces left at the end. This is the old picker, but um, that's interesting. And these little pieces, 
I didn't use any of those in this build. But there are alternative builds online. Here's our finished build, ready to put some seeds and compost in, uh, which is very easily done through the little door there. But what, one of the things that makes these stem hero sets from Ingeno so special is it doesn't finish there. You're actually supplied with a booklet which tells you all about the history of agriculture, why people grow plants, how people grow plants, um, why uh, air and oxygen and water are important to plants. And it's got, you know, life cycles and things. And this really matches up with what your children learn in school. And then there's some tips about planting what you can plant in it. And then you move on to uh, the building instructions. I think it's a really, really good way to get your children encouraged. Not only have they built something lovely, but also they can just carry on and use this forever. It's actually got a real purpose to it. Chilies, I think we're growing first.